Okay, so this is the last theorem I'm going to be proving for the circle theorems playlist. And this one is a lot more wordy than the other one, so kind of bear with, it's a bit different. I feel like it's not as straightforward as doing a maths one, but yeah, let's stick to it and see how it goes. So this is the circle theorem proof for radius and tangent meeting at 90 degree proof. So basically we're proving that this line AD, when it meets the circle, the radius is going to be at 90 degrees. That's the OB line. Well, we can't assume that yet, but that's pretty much the proof we're going to prove. So firstly, let's assume that OB is not perpendicular to AD. So we all pretty much know that it's going to be line OB that is at a right angle to AD. But let's assume it isn't for the purpose of this proof. And let's assume that OC is the perpendicular line. I mean, obviously it isn't from the visual, but like, let's assume it is. So if OCB is equal to 90 degrees, which is a right angle, then OBC would be acute so if you look at a triangle if you have a 90 degree angle in the triangle all the angles in the triangle have to add up to 180 degrees and if one is 90 degrees the other two are going to add up to 90 degrees also but it's one of them's going to have to be at least one degree or at least a fraction of a degree so there's not going to be another one that's bigger so the other one is going to be smaller than 90 degrees and in a triangle the biggest side is opposite the biggest angle so if OCB is the biggest angle the biggest side will be OB so OB is bigger than OC which we can obviously see is wrong, but let's keep going with the theorem. However, OB is equal to OE because it's the radius. So OB and OE are both from the center to the circumference, so they're classed as the radius. Therefore, OE is greater than OC, but we can see this is incorrect because OE is the radius and OC goes beyond the radius. So this means that is actually OB, which is perpendicular to AD and not OC. And you basically go through this process of elimination to prove that the other points don't work. So through the process of elimination, the 90 degree angle is going to be OBC or the perpendicular line is going to be OB. Now I realize this is quite a wordy one. It's not really my forte. I'm kind of better at just straight math. So, so if you do have any questions, I'll try to answer them, but no promises. But, you know, I do my best. As I said, I'm better with the mathsy parts, not so much the wordy parts. Anyway, I hope this helped. Best of luck with your maths and thanks for watching the channel.